Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magnar Nordahl, I'm a captain and instructor on ATR aircraft. This is video number 4 about the primary flight display, PFD, in ATR aircraft with glass cockpit. The first video covers the procedure from power up until you are ready for takeoff. Video number 2 takes you from takeoff until reaching cruise speed. Video number 3 covers the ILS approach. And if you have not seen those videos before, I recommend you to watch them, because they explain the basics of the PFD. I will not repeat myself in this video, so you find links below to the other videos. This video is about the LNAV VNAV approach. The aircraft is an ATR 72600 with standard 3.1 software. We are on a flight from Ala Airport to Gan Airport in the Maldives on Airway Zulu 652. The next waypoint is Victorumio Maikilo, Caldo Airport. Some airports in the Maldives are used as waypoints along the airways. We will also pass over Kudo Airport and Formula Airport. Here is an interesting fact. Zulu 652 is one of the first airways in the world to be RNP1. Gan is the southernmost airport in the Maldives. It is also the oldest airport. The area was established as a military base by the British in 1941, and it served as a base for the Royal Air Force until 1976. Gan Airport is now an international airport, and the home base for the only flight school in the Maldives. The weather is reported to be good. QNH is on 008 and runway 28 is in use. We will fly an RMP approach. Are you ready for the briefing? Threats? None. It's daytime and good weather. There might be some VFR traffic, but they will be separated from uh, commercial traffic by air traffic control. We will fly the approach via Dovan, which has a speed limit of 210 knots. The intermediate fix is Michael 723, 1600 feet or above. Final approach fix is Mike Mark 722, 1600 feet. We will fly continuous descent from top of descent. The final course is 283 degrees. Minima is 260 feet. The H on the map means it's a 3D approach because the flight director will follow the vertical profile computed by the FMS. Airport elevation is 7 feet, MSA 1500 feet. Missed approach, climb straight ahead, at 1000 feet turn left direct to Nunud and hold, or as directed. Holding altitude is 3000 feet. If you do not have VNAV, we will fly the LNAV approach, and this requires a higher minima. When flying this approach, you use VS mode for descent, and this is less accurate than VNAV. Think about an ILS approach versus a localizer approach. We are now clear direct to Doven. Next waypoint is Sabim Uksabi. Five minutes before top of descent, the vertical deviation indicator is displayed. We tell Mali Control we are ready for descent and I clear rest 7,000 feet. Mali Control hands us over to Gantt Tower. We now puff green, also blue. We set manual speed target, 240 blue. Tickets below. Descent checklist.
transition level, said QNH 1008. Passing 1,800 feet now. GAN Tower clears us RNP approach on my 28. We select 1,600 feet. Approach, VFP blue. VFP, vertical flight path, will be activated when we are 2 nautical miles from the final approach fix. And from there it behaves like an ILS glide slope. VNAV is not available in aircraft with Standard 1 and Standard 2 software. Some of those aircraft may have the VNAV push button on the flight guidance control panel, but it is not activated. When flying an LNAV VNAV approach, you must remember two things. One, before arming VFP, you must set altitude select to the altitude you will have when you cross final approach fix. And two, you must only arm VFP when you are cleared approach. While this mode behaves like an ILS, it is not an ILS. Instead of using signals from antennas on the ground, the RNP approach is based on the FMS, which receives signals mainly from the GPS and the barometric altimeter. We are now in Bandoven. We use auto speed target. 240 knots magenta. There are some clouds ahead, they are not visible on the radar, but they will give a turbulent ride, so I decide to fly around them. First I select VS mode, then I select heading mode and turn right. When we are 8 nautical miles from Dovan, the target speed changes to 210 knots, the speed limitation at Dovan. When we are below 10,000 feet, the weather radar is set to 5 degrees tilt up. We are clear of the club and I turn towards my goal 723. The FMS is set direct to my goal 723. Elna Green. We are above the vertical profile. It is centered on FMS with the vertical direct to function. Now the bar is centered. We are now puff green. Select approach, VFP blue. Since Dovan is bypassed, the target speed shows 240 instead of 210, but we stay at 210 knots. When we are 6 nautical miles from final approach fix, the target speed changes to 170 knots. And I reduce power towards flight idle. We pass my golf 7 to 3. 1,000 to go. 
And this is a good opportunity to verify VFP is armed. Radio altimeter alive. Two miles before final approach fix, we get VFP green, and the deviation indicators change to a black background. Set ground altitude 3000 feet. Flaps 15, target speed 140. Gear down. The flashing vertical bar and target vertical speed means the vertical path will change when they cross over the next eight point. Flaps 30. During extension, the target speed is 112. When flaps 30 is set, the target speed is 110. Before landing checklist. When passing 1000 feet on the radio altimeter, the maximum bank angle in turn changes from high bank, 27 degrees, to low bank, 15 degrees. When passing 900 feet on the radio altimeter, the TCAS changes to TA only. The flight director gives lateral and vertical commands down to 20 feet but we will use visual references long time before that. And that is all for this time. Next video will show a 2D approach, either a localizer or an LNAV approach. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning!